We've covered a few specific audio and video filters in their own dedicated episodes in the course, but I wanted to devote a couple full videos to covering all of the audio and video filters currently available. We covered audio filters in the last episode, so let's look at video filters right after this. This video is brought to you by TubeBuddy, the best tool you can get to manage your YouTube channel. Update videos in bulk, syndicate to social media, and back up your metadata and more, all with this simple browser extension. Head on over to eposvox.com slash TubeBuddy to download it for free and learn more. TubeBuddy! Download for free! Learn more! I love it! I am Eples Vox here to make tech easier and more fun. Welcome back to my OBS Studio tutorial course. I've got plenty more videos on the software linked in the playlist in the video description. Go check it out if you have any questions. I've probably answered them. I also have an intro video explaining what this whole course is about. All right, so to access video filters, right click your video source in your scene and source list and click filters. Here, you currently have one video filter available under audio video filters since it works with audio and the rest under effect filters. Under audio video filters, click the plus, you have video delay async. This lets you add a delay measured in milliseconds to your video source to better align it with audio inputs. This is useful if you have an out of sync USB device, such as a weird a webcam that's not cooperating or an older Elgato capture card that doesn't bring in video at the right time. Under effect filters, you get quite a few neat options. There are tools for chroma keying and color keying, which we covered back in a previous episode. You also have LUTs to apply cool effect filters as we covered in another episode. The scroll effect keeps scrolling and looping your source with speed parameters, as well as height and width limiting options. This is actually kind of neat. It can be used for a text scroll, like in a news segment layout. <laughs> Color correction allows you to do some basic color work for your video source. Gamma, contrast, brightness, saturation, hue shift, opacity, and a color picker. But if you're messing with a webcam, you should absolutely do as much of this as possible from within your actual webcam settings dialog, or at least set your webcam to manual so it doesn't keep trashing these settings with auto adjustments. The crop pad filter lets you crop your source. It also lets you pad it by giving additional transparent pixels within the bounding box around your source. It's easier to crop a source by holding alt when dragging the bounding box than by using the numbers here though. You have two options for that. The image mask blend allows you to apply a cool mask or texture to the source. This is what we used to create a custom webcam frame in a previous episode for the circle webcam frame. Render delay is another option for delaying your video. This can help reduce system load with running video files as sources. Scaling slash aspect ratio can be used to fix a lot of issues here. Some video devices will let you set a custom resolution, but may not change to the proper aspect ratio within OBS, i.e. setting a webcam to 1280 by 720, but it squishes that into a 4x3 block. This helps you scale things better and can help with distortion when scaling ultra-wide monitors. Sharpen applies a basic sharpening filter to your video source. Use this lightly. Too much can make your video look funky. Also, the sharper a video is, the harder it is to compress. Keep that in mind. The OBS team is always working to add new features and filters to the software, so there may be more in the future, but this is the gist of what's currently available. I hope this episode of my OBS Studio tutorial course has been helpful for you. If it has been, drop kick that like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel for more awesome tech content, and go follow me on Twitch, where I do some game streaming from time to time, and drop me a message in chat. Until next time, I'm Maples Box. Happy streaming! Thanks for watching this episode of my OBS Studio tutorial course. More videos like this and a full master class are linked in the playlist in the video description. Click to learn more. Also, consider joining us on Patreon to help keep tech education free. Go to patreon.com slash to sign up.